So if you've ever chased your kid down a cave looking for a frog only to be chased out of the cave by a whole crap load of spiders, you know how important it is to have a really good weapon mounted light on your blaster. And that's where the mischief machine mount for these Streamlight flashlights come into play. So if you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we make a lot of polymer items. And lately we've gotten into and made our own billet aluminum flashlight mounts for a lot of the really, really popular EDC flashlights. So let's answer that first question uh, right away as to why would you put an EDC light on your rifle over a dedicated rail mount? I'll grab this rail mount real quick. So this is kind of my uh, home defense gun. This is kind of how I've got mine set up. This is how I how I like it. And one of the big problems that I started to notice about purchasing a bunch of these dedicated rail mount flashlights, so this is a Streamlight uh, Protac 2LX. Within a year, this light's pretty much obsolete. Like there's already another one that's 16 times brighter than this light. Also, it's kind of hard to get really good placement on it. There's not a lot of freedom in where you can put it unless you invest in a bunch of like scout mounts all kinds of other knickknacks. You got the, the cord to deal with. So it, it gets a little messy, it gets a little bulky, and then it just gets outdated really, really quickly. What we decided to do is to take all of Streamlight's really, really popular flashlights and make dedicated M-lock mounts that are designed to tuck into even the tightest rails as tight as you can possibly get it. So that's just right up against that rail. There's almost no clearance there. So if you want to put a backup sight here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide the mount back a little bit and then push the light further up in the mount and it'll give you a little bit of clearance for a decent quality aluminum mount. The really, really heavy like Magpul MBUS Pros, the really bulky plastic ones don't really fit very well. So if you're planning on doing that, it's not going to work unless you have none or a much thinner aluminum mount. And then that's a, a super thin, rail. This is a much thicker handguard, so you've got a lot more clearance on this, and this is a, a much beefier light. This is a Streamlight HLX, so this is a pretty beefy thousand lumen light that we've got on this Air Precision handguard. And then you'll see how much more compact that is versus a dedicated rail mount. Now, you can get some other additional mounts for this light to change its layout and make it a little more compact to the rail, but I can't upgrade that. As soon as I buy it, I'm locked into it for life. If I want a better light, I have to get a whole entire new mount and replace it. So we've got options for almost all of the ProTac line and we're constantly adding ones as uh, people request them more and more and more. We suggest that you use the small one like this Streamlight USB. It's, it's really, really good on uh, like pistol caliber carbines, not a lot of recoil. It's not really a duty rated like weapon light, but it, it does really, really well on pistol caliber carbines. And then once you step up to these larger Flashlights, these are, are much, much better suited for your dedicated home defense rifle, your um, semi-long range tactical rifle, your battle rifles. So if you wanna get a, a, a light on, say, a, a battle rifle, you want a nice, big, beefy light, like this 1000 lumen rechargeable Streamlight HLX. It'll really throw that light out along a pretty good distance so you can identify your target at a nice decent range and that's the most important thing is not just the light is can you identify what you're pointing your rifle at obviously we're gonna add, we're adding more models so we're gonna go after some some fenix lights and any other semi-popular lights in the future we'll probably add to our lineup so some of my favorite lights are the the polytac x so this is a, a rechargeable battery you can throw in here i really like how much throw this light has so this adding this mount onto you know, some of your cheap extra backup lights is, is a really awesome option. Um, for your other smaller, say your truck guns or some of your sub guns that you really want some decent light on, we've got a mount that's a dedicated mount for the Streamlight Macro Stream. So that's the one that's a little bit larger than their first um, Micro Stream. So you can just pop that out, recharge it. It's fantastic for putting on a small truck gun or pistol caliber carbine. And obviously we do make a polymer mount for the Streamlight Micro Stream. So this is a smaller one. This one, you don't want to put this one on a, uh, a full power like 308 or, or other large rifle. And I'd probably say the same thing with the Macro Stream. This one does really, really well on pistol caliber carbine. So you're not going to want to throw this on a shotgun and expect this light to last. I mean, it probably will, but it's not really designed for that. So we currently only have a polymer mount for this really small micro stream. And then we have polymer mounts for the entire ProTac 2L, 1L, 1L, 1AA line. This is probably the one of the oldest uh, Streamlight lines. 
Our, my personal favorite is the 1L1AA because that one you can throw two different types of batteries in there. That's a, that's a fantastic option. And then for your larger lights, we have two different versions of the HLX. So these are perfect for your duty rifles or your, your battle rifle setups because they've got an enormous amount of throw. You can really identify a target at a pretty decent range with these larger rifle lights on there. If you're interested in any of Mischief Machine's products, head over to mischiefmachine.com.